So this is breathing video number four. And with this one, we're just taking it to the whole next level in terms of getting the diaphragm to really work and getting the back muscles really stretched out. And we can bias this to get um, serratus posterior stretched out as well, which uh, goes between the uh, spine and the shoulder blade. So it's one of those little muscles that stretches out and um, regularly gets, gets the shoulders to, to tighten up and feel sore. So we're gonna start exactly as we started the other videos. So tongue wants to be just behind the top front teeth, resting on the roof of the mouth, lips closed, and jaw relaxed and slightly slightly open. You're then going to start off with a roll down. So just going to roll, drop your head first of all. So drop, try and drop your chin down into your throat. Then roll down so that your chin drops onto your chest. Let the shoulders slump. Roll all the way down. What? Drop your hands right the way down to the floor if you can get them there. I can just about get my fingertips on the floor as I do this. Really important to keep your head relaxed throughout this exercise. And then you're going to take some breaths right down into the diaphragm. And on each out breath, so on the in breath, you should feel your um, your thorax expanding around, around the area of the bra strap. Um, that's where it should expand. And on every out breath, you should be able to feel your, your back muscles lengthening and your head dropping a little bit further. So three deep breaths into the diaphragm. If you want to, on at the end of the out breath, um, my dog's just coming to investigate. Uh, at the end of the out breath, you can add a pause. So it's breathe out and hold, 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 and then breathe in again, slowly through the nose down to the diaphragm. Okay, so we're just rolling down here, hands down. You can see that when I'm breathing in, it's filling up around my bra strap. I can feel that stretching around the back of my shoulders and keeping my head dropped. And on every out breath, I can go that little bit further. And I'm gonna take three breaths down here, making sure that my head stays relaxed, arms stay relaxed, my hands are pushing, um, getting closer and closer to, the, uh, to being flat on the floor. When I roll back up, I'm gonna really push through the feet, pushing through the feet and then roll back up. Pushing through the feet means that I don't really have to use my back muscles to roll me back up because my legs and glutes will be doing the work. So that was three or four really good breaths down there. And what you can do is if your problem is um, more central or if you don't really have a major problem, you're just working on the diaphragm, it's, it's perfectly okay to just keep going centrally. But the other thing I've been finding with, particularly for people with shoulder problems, is that they tend to be very tight across more one side than the other. And so what I'm getting people now doing is not just going down straight, but sort of reaching with the arm down to the ankle. So if I roll down from here, so it's, getting my tongue just behind my teeth, uh, chin to throat, roll it down till my chin touches my chest, roll my shoulders forward, and this time I'm going down, so my right hand is reaching down to my left ankle, so I'm getting a preferential stretch through the right side there, dropping my head, adding in a pause, so that my diaphragm gets a really good stretch, but in a slightly twisted position and then push through the feet, particularly the left foot this time, because that was the one I was, I was working towards, so particularly pushing through that foot to push me back up again. And then I do the same on this side, so tongue in position, chin to throat, roll it down, chin to chest, shoulders forward, let the upper back go, reach down to the right ankle, stretch through there, let the diaphragm do its work. Feeling a really strong stretch between my left shoulder blade in the spine, and then push through the right foot to roll me back up. So that's how I progress uh, the breathing exercises to get a, a deeper diaphragmatic stretch, but also with a, with a bit of a shoulder stretch through there.